Hello Internet, I am the Final Boss, and today we're going to be playing another episode of Amnesia. I guess we gotta figure out how to make that lever work. Like so. And we can pu pull it the rest of the way down. And bring it down, there we go. Now we can go up here. I'm not sure what is up here. Maybe there's some way to drain- oh no, there's another door. Did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. Oh, I thought we were going into like a, another flashback. So, I bet he, uh, he killed the guy. Okay, so I'm going to go off on a limb and say these need to be uh, the exact same in the other room. So we'll bring it down to right about there-ish. And then this one is the second lowest. Uh, about there, sure. And then this one is just slightly lower than the other one. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on now, but the whole, the whole building does not seem to have liked the fact that I did that. So now we have levers. I think this is going to be a series of similar rooms that have similar puzzles. So before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and look at the other side. Down, up, up, down. No, okay, let's try... Oh, I guess one of them was just slightly up. And it was, it was causing an issue say oh well you know if you're gonna place them for me automatically then you just keep on doing that Daniel is that you what are you doing oh what's this all right maybe what I'm looking for is this way I honestly have no idea what I'm doing so uh oh maybe we'll figure it out uh, I do not want to get back in the water. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like for drinking? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. I didn't want to go into the water while that's happening because you can't see as clear. And I think there might be another water monster. No. Okay, never mind. There is not another water monster yet. I'm sure there might be at some point. And... Oh, I... I think I heard something. I'm not sure if you actually did, but... I don't know what that was. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. All right. We're gonna go ahead and drain some Ooh, 
Well, I'm not entirely sure what that did, but uh, apparently whatever this, I guess the orb's shadow or whatever, whatever it is, did not care much for it. Crap. Oh, great. Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. It's attached to a rusty chain. If I could throw something at it, like, say, a rock, will that break it? I mean, I, I doubt it, but this is a video game. Hey, perfect. Uh, apparently, we're on a, a kind of a time limit now. If the game's to be believed, it said that water is filling the room. I'm not very happy about that. Um, well, you know how it is. Uh, oh, good, another note. 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so as for the notes, we're getting up to more modern times, I guess. Like... Uh, we're getting closer to where the game actually started, which is interesting because I'm showing almost no signs of wanting to kill this guy. And, uh, whenever we start the game off, what do I want to do? I want to kill this guy. Ah, last note. 1839. It is still early and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it did not. <laughs> that is not what it ended up being. The bridge is stuck and will need to be dislodged. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to dislodge this bridge too while we're at it. Let me see if I can... Okay, um, so all it took was a rock to bring that down. I, um, I think that's incredibly stupid. This is a body here. Oh, and he has genitals. Oh, Jesus. A lot of dead people here. A lot of naked dead people. Ooh, something... Something wasn't happy. What? What happened? Why are all these dead... Where am I? What happening? Help! Anybody! Help! Ah, so that's why I want to kill him. Because he trapped me, um... Sorry about that. Help! Help! I'm so 
so tired. If I sleep, I wake from this nightmare. If not, I pray my heavenly father will take me in my sleep. So all I really got out of this was a copper tube. Uh, a copper tube that I'm honestly not entirely sure what to do with. Oh! So that was it. I'd never used that one before. If that's it then... No, I'm just hearing things. I thought I heard something going on. I cannot handle that. Um. Uh. Crap. Um, let's see. Okay, that did it. That getting us somewhere. Ah, okay. The stuff actually helped me out this time. Alright, so now we figured it out. We've gotten all of the puzzles done. That was a little bit easier than I made it out to be. I don't know how I missed that. Like, I could swear I did that the first time. That was it. That's all I needed to do. Is this... Yeah, that is gas, isn't it? Well, crap. It cannot penetrate the skull. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to penetrate the skull. Why am I doing this? I'm so confused. But wait, what? 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 I need to inject the blood again. Why did I do it the first time? Maybe this will help me with the, the gas? Because what I, it seems to seems to be the blood I injected is being yeah okay that was the solution this doesn't make any sense none of none of that made any sense so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here and we'll deal with all this other stuff in the sewer on the next episode so as usual thank you guys for watching if you like this video leave me a like and stay tuned for the next episode of amnesia where we have to go toe to toe with a monster in the sewer <laughs>